Anytime anyone says anything slightly negative about TMOX, someone is going to come in and say, oh, but what about session management? Session management is super useful. Well, it turns out you don't need TMOX or even a multiplexer to do session management. So right here, what we have is a Vim buffer. As you can see, it doesn't have a file name. So if I quit out of it, the text isn't actually going to be saved. So let's go and just quit the terminal. And if we use an application called abduco, we can actually go and bring that session back. So abduco-a to reattach a session, and then the name of the session. In this case, the session name is going to be editor. And as we can see, we've got that work back now. So abduco is a standalone session management tool that's intended to be used alongside applications like DVTM. So DVTM is a standalone terminal multiplexer. So if you just want the multiplexer features, you can use that one. If you just want the session management features, you can just use abduco. And I will look at DVTM at a later date. So I'm gonna keep this session around for just a bit. So let's just quit out of the terminal and actually go and make a new session. So if we just run abduco-c, abduco-c is for creating a new session. Then if we go and name the session, let's name it something like test. And let's launch the application LF. So all we have to do is just pass in the application we want to run. So that can be a shell script, that can be just a regular application. It can be really anything that can run inside of your terminal. So let's go and run this now. And as we can see, the application loaded up just fine. So if we go over to another terminal now and we run just abduco with nothing passed into it, what that's going to do is actually list out all of our sessions. So as we can see, we have the test session and the editor session. So right now, as you can see, it seems to be working just fine. It doesn't seem like any of the applications have any trouble resizing it. Apparently, some session management tools do have that issue, but it seems like abduco basically not a problem. And also, I've not noticed any performance drop whatsoever. Now, obviously, if you're using a really slow system, having this one extra process running might be a slight problem, but at least on my system, it is basically imperceivable. So if you actually want to go and cancel a session, all you have to do is just quit out of the application like you normally would. So in this case, to quit out of LF, I can just press Q. And as we're going to see, the session has now terminated with exit status zero. And if we go back over here and run abduco again, as we can see, that session is no longer listed. So abduco doesn't actually have a way to kill a session. The only way to kill a session is to actually go and end the application. But sometimes you just want to go and detach the session. So detach basically means keep the application running, but don't have it run in the terminal that you're currently in right now. So you can go and just do all of the regular things you want to do in this terminal, but it will keep the application running in the background. So if we just go and make a new session now, so abduco-c, and we'll use the same one we saw before, so test lf. And if I go and press control backslash, that will detach the session. Now, the other way to do so is to quit out of your terminal. So let's say, I don't know, alacrity or st or whatever terminal you're using goes and crashes, but the application you're in doesn't actually crash. So in that case, the session still will exist. And then as we saw before, we can go and reattach the session by using the dash A option and then passing in the name of the session. Now, sometimes applications will actually be using control backslash in the actual application itself. So in those cases, you might have to go and reconfigure the key. So this is done on a session by session basis. So if we do abduco dash E and then pass in carrot Q. So carrot Q basically means control Q. And then let's go and make a new session now. So test LF. And I don't have screen key running, but if I go and press control Q, that will actually detach the session. If you want to go and create a session, but you don't want to attach it right now, that can be done with abduco dash N. And then the same thing we saw before. So let's call it something like, I don't know, J. And then the application we want to run. So let's say HTOP. And if we just run abduco now, as we can see, that session does exist. So we can go and connect to that like we saw before. So pass in dash A and then the name of the session. As we can see, HTOP is now running. Cool. So our other option is abduco dash capital A. So what this is going to do is try and connect to a session. But if that session doesn't exist, it will then create the session. So for this one, we have to pass in the name of the session. So we'll do, I don't know, I this time. And then let's try and run NVIM. So as we can see, that's gone and opened it up. But if we go and just put some stuff in here, do control backslash. 
and then we run the exact same thing again. That will actually go and connect to that session. As you can see, works just fine. You may have noticed some symbols in the abduco list, so we'll keep this one open right here, and then over in this terminal, what we'll do is abduco-n, and then give it the name j, and we'll just pass in true. So as soon as something connects to this, it's going to end. Okay, so if we just run abduco now, as we can see, we have a bunch of sessions here. So anything that doesn't have a symbol here, this means that the session is still running just fine, but nothing is connected to it. So this I session here is this session right here. So anything that has an asterisk is a connected session. Then anything with a plus is anything that is terminated. So generally a terminated session would be something like if you run, I don't know, a long command in the background that's trying to unzip some files or compress some files or download some files. Something like that may terminate while it's in the background, but most other applications probably are not going to do that. And you can also go and create a read-only session. So if we do abduco-r and then either dash c, dash capital A, or dash n to do various creation methods that we discussed earlier. So we'll do dash c for now, and let's call it test1, and we'll run it with lf. Now, read-only basically means that it won't accept user input. So no matter how much you press keys, it's not going to do anything in the application. Now, if someone knows a point for this, feel free to let me know. Maybe you're trying to download something and you don't want to accidentally press Control C, maybe. I guess that could be something. But if you accidentally open up an application like this, you can always detach it and then doing things like kill all will still work. So if we go kill all LF and then we try to reattach to that session, so test one. As we can see, it's now terminated just fine. If you do happen to be using DVTM and Abducco at the same time, there is a slight shortcut for opening them both up at the same time. So if we do Abducco-C and then just pass in the name of the session, so we'll call it test1, and then we don't actually pass an application in. So the default application that Abducco will look for is DVTM. So if you don't pass anything in, it will try to run it with that. Now, if you didn't see the point throughout this video, the reason why session management is useful is let's say you're writing a document and for whatever reason, you just forgot to save it. Now, let's say your terminal goes and quits after that and you think you've lost all of your work. Now, if this exists inside of a session, obviously you can just rebring the session back open and nothing has been lost. And this is especially true if you're using something like say a multiplexer where you're gonna have multiple applications open at once. You probably don't wanna lose the state of all of those applications. So if that multiplexer exists inside of a session, you can just always reopen up that session again and all your windows will be exactly the same. So a lot of people really like to use Tmux when they're doing SSH because if their connection suddenly drops, they don't want to lose all of the work they were doing on that server. Now, if you're using Abduco, the process is exactly the same. So you do SSH dash T, the IP address you're going to connect to, and then just run Abduco with the options you want to run in place of Tmux. That's all you have to do. It works exactly the same. And let's say you're running something like, say, a game server. There's not really any point to always have the game server taking up a window of your terminal. Generally, you just want to leave that in the background. And then whenever you need to do something on the server, you can bring it back open. Like, say you want to do some, I don't know, server management stuff like banning a user, kicking a user, changing some sort of settings around. When you need to go and modify that, you can bring it back open and it will be in the exact same state that you left it in. So I actually think this application is really, really useful because even though I think session management is really cool, I don't want to have a tiling multiplexer. I already have a tiling window manager and if I want to make a new terminal window, I'll just go and make a new terminal window. I don't really see any point of actually having tiles inside of my terminal. I get if you're using something like windows on WSL or you're using GNOME, KDE, or you're using a tabbing window manager or any of the floating window managers out there. In those situations, I can understand why you might want a tiling terminal. But besides those, if you're on a tiling window manager, I don't see the point. But the session management is really cool and I will be using that going forward. So I think that's pretty much everything for me, but before I go, I would like to thank my supporters. So a special thank you to Joachim Kulbinian, Andrew Craig, Nathan Monsada, Joseph, Peter D. Rode, Tony, Brennan, Donald, John, Merrick, Mikkel, Nate, Dog, Nephite, Tease, and Zilva. If you want to go and support my work, there'll be some links down below to my Subscribestar, Libra Pay, Patreon, all of that sort of stuff. I've got 
my podcast, basically anywhere. And this channel is available on Library, Odyssey, BitChute, BitTube, and a bunch of other platforms as well if you want to watch on a platform that isn't YouTube. So I think that's pretty much everything for me, and I'm out.